Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis. Today is a special episode. We got something new from Hollybro. It's a Shuriken 180. Please subscribe to the channel because we're getting tons of new racer drones and aerial drone accessories, aerial drones each week uh, on the channel. And you're going to see a lot of new stuff coming out this summer. Super cool racer quads coming our way uh, from all kinds of different cool companies. So Hollybro has released a couple different ones out there. They have a Shuriken 180 and they have a 250 model. Both are really, really nice specs on the quad. They have great ESCs and motors on here, 3 to 4S capable, and they really are made for high performance, freestyle or racing. Pretty nice looking frames. Everything is clean and tucked away inside the frame. You got the camera mount up front, which has a really nice tilt. Uh, I'd say 45 degrees or more on that tilt. It's adjustable on the side. But we'll get into the specs, the full specs on this after we come back from our session outside doing a little bit of fun flying with this. This is the Shuriken 180 coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the studio after that awesome flight test. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the Shuriken 180 out in the field and all that 4S Fury that we showed you. Um, I have another favorite and I tend to have a lot of favorites because things keep progressing all the time in this industry. It's so cool how fast things move and how things change. Um, as I believe these companies are kind of kind of researching the market, they're listening to the racers and the pilots and they're finding out what we want. Uh, in these quads are really doing their research quite well. So the Shuriken 180 as a, an ARF and almost ready to fly Adrone transmitter is, is, is an awesome quad. It has a lot of the features that we've been wanting for quite some time. And there's only a couple compromises that I will tell you about. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you this real quick. But first we're going to talk about all the good stuff. So all the writing on the back here tells you about some of the, the First uh, specs right off the bat, we have 20 amp ESCs, very, very nice. It has an 800 TVL camera on here and VTX is 5.8 gigahertz, running uh, for up to 40 channels on 600 milliwatt or 25 milliwatt for race band. So if you're racing, you're interested in racing, or if you're a new guy and you want to get into racing, you can switch back and forth with the little dongle that comes with it. You just plug in this little dongle move them back and forth and you can change from 25 milliwatt on the camera setup 
to 600. So pretty cool there as well. It has a suspended IMU flight controller uh, and CPM integrated right into the board, which I'm gonna pop the hood on this and show you in just a little bit. It looks like they have option to add an altimeter uh, and a compass if you wanted to later. They do have some stock numbers on there. You can't see it right there, but that is an option later, I guess. Uh, not that I'm going to add that probably, but you do have three receiver choices on this Shuriken 180, and you can have fast for Futaba, you can have a Spectrum receiver, or you can get the FR Sky XS, uh, XSR receiver, which is the one that I got uh, right away, because that's what I use is the Tyrannus Pro. So let's go ahead. This is what's in the box. Nice little carrying case. The Vortex Pro was one of the first ones to come out with a nice handy carrying case and Hollybro has done their own version of this which does not copy the, the Vortex Pro but they do their own thing here and it's nice that we can have this carrying case because it, it separates a lot of my quads in the hangar because I do have quite a few quads. So I don't know how good you can see this on camera but check this out. This is really nice. So I'll go ahead and pull it out so you can see it. And the antenna here as well. The antenna screws in to the port here on top. And it does have a nice rubber coating around the top of the, the, the bottom of the transmitter stem for your video antenna. Very, very nice how that screws on. It's very easy to take on and off if you're gonna put this back in your bag, uh, back in your carrying case. Very, very nice. But overall, right away, I've got to say that this frame is really, really slick. I really like these flat designs that are coming out. Everything is super compact and hidden. This makes crashes quite good when you walk up to inspect a crash because a lot of times you see that nothing happened. Everything is still in place. The only things that I see as a shortcoming on this is probably the way this camera is mounted on top of here on this stand right here. But that's yet to be determined uh, because this thing is sticking up quite a bit on here. So if it does take a full frontal, it's going to take an impact on top of this. And how durable this is, it feels pretty durable, but we'll see when it's 45 miles an hour straight head first into the ground. And maybe that's the first thing that hits. We'll see if this breaks off or not. Um, but everything else on it, I mean, the thing is shaped like a hammer. It's... <laughs> It's super compact and, and it looks sturdy, very, very sturdy. And the crashes that I've had with this already, I just had a few tumbles in the grass, but a lot of times I fly over grass, so it's not too big of a deal. But we have three inch props on here. They are four by four by fours, uh, excuse me, four, um, four by fours. And it does have an XT60 in the back already. That's really nice. The 20 amp ESCs are enough for 4S. So that's going to be great for us. Uh, wanting to do freestyle maneuvers and such with this quad, you can do that. Here's the FR Sky antennas coming out the back. This is kind of neat. I haven't seen it done like this before. And I almost was kind of worried that they might come up and get into the props. But when it's flying, I'm pretty sure they're not going to do that. You're going to be able to have them quite out of the way. It does have a reinforcement plate on the bottom to protect the bottom PDB. The whole bottom of this, by the way, is the PDB on this Shuriken 180. So that is one other slight concern, but this looks like one of the more durable frames that I've seen in this size. It does look very, very durable. So I'm not too worried about this. I've seen and I've flown other designs that had a bottom plate as a PDB. And when I break an arm, there goes the whole PDB. You gotta replace the whole board. So uh, these arms are rather short. In these 180 size compact quads, you don't get a lot of arm breaks uh, on the 180s because they are super compact. So that's a good thing about getting one of these size copters. And they're just a little more portable in size. Um, you can fly them in smaller fields than you can like a, a full 250 or 280. You need a lot more room because they're a lot faster. Uh, but this is definitely something to uh, consider for your collection, or if you're just getting into it and you want to try something new, you want to try this 180 size, let's go ahead and take out the rest of the stuff in the box and show you. You get some extra props, those are the 4x4s, 
have to look up the actual specs for those and put them down in the description below. We'll do some pros and cons as well. I'll write a little um, paragraph up on what we think are the, the best things about the Holly Bro. Now it does have, if you need it, they do have some diagrams in here for the boot mode. Uh, showed you the stickers. No big deal there. We also have some other specs li list here. Uh, you also have item numbers on here. So if you need more motors or you need to replace an ESC, they have the numbers right here. Uh, and I'm sure you'll be able to go on their website or the uh, dealer's websites. We'll list those down below in the description, by the way. There's quite a few US dealers. Uh, Get FPV, I believe, is one of them one of our sponsors on the channel. So definitely check out Get FPV selling. I think they're selling the Shuriken 180 and the 250 by Holly Bro. So there's a warning sheet here as well. Don't hit yourself in the face with it. Da da da, flat around animals or children. And the, the camera is a CMOS camera, folks. Uh, 800 TVL, like we said, kind of concerned me, but when I went out and flew it, it was, it was decent. So, um, you can take this camera off and you could put in an HS-111 on there or something if you wanted to, uh, or HS-177 if you want to. So um, not too big of a deal. This camera mount that they have up inside here is compatible with other cameras. So let's go ahead, uh, let's pop the top on this and I'll show you some of the cool circuitry inside here and how this thing's put together. Okay, so I have all the bolts removed off here. It took a little while to take them off because you actually have nuts on the bottom of the frame and you have to take a little wrench or something and grab a hold of the nut while you're using your driver on the top part. So it takes a little longer to take apart than a regular quad um, popping the top off something else like a, your other uh, 180 frames that are stacked frames. Not so much like this uh, sandwich style frame, but it makes it very durable, I believe, the way they have these bolts in there. So we're going to go ahead and pop the top. The camera is still plugged in, so I'm just going to twist this around this way. And I'm going to unplug the camera from the circuit board. There we go. You want to be careful when you're doing that. Set that over there to the side. So here we go. There are 1806 motors on here, by the way, and they are 2700 kV. So that's, it's quite high in the kV range. And it does have a nice thick and solid three millimeter shaft on here. Uh, previous versions, models of these motors had a lot smaller shafts, so they would tear up the bearings pretty quickly uh, on some mini quads that I flew in the past couple years. Uh, and this is the FR Sky receiver up in there. This is our XSR receiver, which powers up when you put power to the board here, which is actually really nice too. You have your VTX up in here. You have your 20 amp ESCs. I'll show you that a little closer here. So these ESCs would be easily replaceable. This top part right here actually can just come right off. And if you needed to get to this PDB to solder an ESC on, it's easily accessible. Just desolder these three and these three and bam. And they are nicely, they have double-sided tape underneath them. Looks like uh, some VHB or something similar to VHB. And you have your little IMU here and the flight controller integrated into the board. There is a bind button here as well. Uh, and there's a bind button on the receiver itself. So it took me about 10 minutes, uh, maybe 15 minutes to get this thing bound to my Tyrannus and set up in clean flight and out the door and flying. Um, I was making a comment to one of my friends at the field that this was probably the quickest quad that I've had out the door and in the air uh, from binding it, not having to put an extant my receiver in there and set my receiver somewhere and find a place for it and tack it down or, or strap it down or zip tie it or whatever. It's already there. So that's a really nice feature about this one. The fact that I don't have to, to worry about the receiver. It's, it's ready to go when it comes in the mail. So it's sitting nicely inside the frame and it does have the antennas out the back. So I'm not worried about too much um, worrying about range on it, uh, having the antennas on the inside of the frame. So they actually put 
little holes in the back here so the antennas can exit. Very, very nice designs. They, they thought about a lot of this stuff on this quad before they released this. And it looks like they did spend a fair amount of time designing this. You've got your bumper, your motor bumpers on the bottom. Um, you've got a bumper back here to cover up where your USB plate is. So hopefully you don't damage um, that here as well, close to your XT60. Because if you knock this off, it's going to be difficult to solder that little USB port back on there. And getting into clean flight, it loaded right up. Uh, it does have an F3 board on here. So SP Racing F3. So that is definitely a thumbs up from Hollybro. They put the latest and greatest flight controller on here. Uh, guys want to see that F3 board. F4 is coming, but it's going to be a little while. Uh, F3 is what's really, really hot right now. So definitely a thumbs up on that F3 board. And as I mentioned before, you can also add an altimeter or you can add the compass in there. Um, the stock numbers for those are in the, the quick start guide that they give you in there. Um, so the, the size and the weight, we do have a weight um, on this. It's over 250 grams. So you'll want to add your um, FAA registration number somewhere on here if you are registered with the FAA in the United States. Um, that way you, you're totally legit flying your copter. And also the weight uh, without the battery as it's shipped is around 240 grams. So they recommend a battery of 3S or 4S, um, 330 grams with the 3S and the 4S um, would be a, a 1000 milliamp battery, excuse me, 330 grams is with a 1000 milliamp 4S battery on here. So. Um, it's actually a little lighter with a 3S if you wanted to go 3S. Uh, probably not a whole lot, but I can do a weigh-in for you uh, before we leave the video. But I'm really, really happy with the way this is designed. Uh, I feel like if something breaks on it, that I can definitely do some work on it. It's not hard to open this thing up. I mean, it looks like a sports car um, sitting here on the bench. So very, very well thought out. And it looks like you could uh, definitely, definitely grow with this copter. If you're a beginner, uh, this is a great copter for somebody just getting into this. Uh, right away, you've got all the best features that are popular in the industry right now. You've got replaceable motors on their website and all the spare parts listed um, and Velcro straps and all that good stuff in that Hollybro spare parts list right here. So. I gotta say, I'm gonna probably have to give this one a score of, I'd say 4.5 stars. And I'm, I'm going that high on this one simply because of the fact that this thing is so race ready. Um, so easy, it's the quickest one I've got out the door ever. Um, I, I like this one a lot, I really do, honestly do. Uh, and I like flying it. I'm going to take these props um, for my next flight, some of my personal flights with this, and I'm gonna put some probably put, probably put some dowel props on there, and I can tell you the size of those dowel props um, in the video specs below. But the dowels will be a little stiffer than these, uh, and they might not snap as easily. But I'd, you do have more compromise on breaking your motors if you hit hard. Uh, with a stiffer prop, so keep that in mind. But I'm going to recommend also running this on 4S uh, because I think it would abs it absolutely rips on 4S. So 4S setup with a Tyrannus Spectrum or a Futaba receiver. I mean, it's a definite win for Hollybro. The 180 is definitely becoming one of my favorites. Uh, also, I got to show you guys coming up too. We have the 250 from Hollybro. We have a Shuriken 250 to show you in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that one for sure. Um, but 4.5 stars on this, like I said, um, my half star that I took off would probably be for, um, I, I'm guessing that would be for this PDB frame at the bottom. I'm not a huge fan of, of bottom plate PDBs. However, I don't think it's going to flex a whole lot because they do have this reinforcement bar that goes underneath um, the main frame. My only compromise, the only compromise might be along the arms. Um, thrown in with that, I've got to say, 
that maybe this camera mount would be a compromise uh, the way it sits so high up off the frame and it looks like a you know kind of a hard industrial plastic is that going to stand up to the durability test i'm not 100 percent sure so that's a question but if you're a new person you I, I would gladly spend my money for the price that they have this one for very good for what you get for the money you can't beat it out there because a couple years ago something this advanced would have been a five six hundred dollar quad um, all day long with all this tech that they have thrown in here so very wise investment for new guys and, and even for experienced pilots i've got my other guys at the field they are drooling over this copter and they would love to have it um, so i've got a, a long line of guys that would like to have this one it's a really sweet quad so thanks for watching today and thanks for going over this shuriken 180 with me if you have any questions uh, or concerns about this Shuriken 180, please put them in the comments below and we'll try to answer your questions as we can. Uh, maybe Holly Bro will watch the channel as well and they might comment down below as well. So thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis and this has been the Holly Bro 180.